Thank you very much, uh, Sonia. Look, that video, I must have played it reach one million times. For so many things, the sound, I like the bass line, I like the movement of the music itself, and then I like the spirit, the, the, the passionate spirit that is behind the, the song. And then I'm, I'm a sucker for philosoph uh, philosophical music. And I, so, I, so, I, so I love that a lot. Um, uh, although you are cooking that chicken there, you, I mean, it makes people to go hungry, but it's okay, it's okay. You are, you are pardoned. <laughs> so, you know, for those of all who don't know Sonia, that's the kind of stuff that, that, that she does. And all her songs are usually, in the, there are some she did in Yoruba and a uh, and, uh, native Edo language that I may be able to play as we go on. So, Sonia, thank you very much for what you do. We know that you, you are already blowing because you are in Canada. You are blowing in dollars. The struggle is there where they blow in Naira that we cannot even say. <laughs> So let me formally welcome you to Culture Train on Spirit of Nigeria Radio, where we bring the diaspora up to speed. Let me explain again why we do this program. We know that we have a huge volume of Nigerians outside of this country who are doing so well, who are making the valid contribution. And even though we've, uh, we've not allowed you to participate in our democracy yet because we're too scared, but well, those of you who are out there doing a lot of stuff is the reason why we set up this radio station during COVID. The whole idea is to show young Nigerians who were trying to jump out, to run away, and that, you know, there are people, when you get there, you must have a purpose. You must have an identity. If you are not doing that, then you just run away for another thing. That's why you live here as a manager of a corporate organization. You go and become a cleaner, or you go and become a nurse or something like that. But if you have a purpose, you must be able to live your purpose through the Jaqua 
out to Japan. We have a lot of uh, young people who listen to us, even though because of data, they can't join us on Zoom, but they listen in the in the cloud. So I welcome them to this program, and we're happy to say that uh, you agreed to be hosted today based on your program. Uh, I don't know if uh, any of our scholars and friends, uh, if you have any comment to make on your music before we start to take you on. But I'm going to leave much of the question to Dr. Adi Uditola and Dr. Itayo Alok, but I will like to have the comment on anything about your about your music. Let me start with Dr. Kole Adi Uditola, and then I'll take Itayo, who is in Canada. Okay, um, well, just like you, I I pop in once in a while, and I think the statement is made all through is this idea of starting from who you are when you hear the songs that are from the Edo tradition where it plays two roles uh, you remember just like I said that um, um, Pa Bruce or Nobrakpaya will do a fantastic work in abstract and then slap a robot title on it you are like left in a, a double bind. And it's the same thing um, Sister Sonia does too. You know, when these songs are in Edo, it makes people, it educates them to know that there is a, a language like that. It's not just a dialect. It's a language that can be used in the creation of music. And the musicality of it plays up. And then the, the musical video plays a parallel narrative to tell people some things. I just learned one new thing now, and I'm going to buy a new scissors because I saw you cut the chicken with the scissors. I, I have not always been doing that. I've always been using my knife. Now I'm going to get a very clean scissors and cut all the jolo jolo away, you know. But these are things that, you know, um, as fleeting as they are, we viewers, we catch them, we see them. And there's no need telling anybody who is Nigerian that you were making jollof rice and you made the jollof rice. And even sitting here, I could almost perceive the aroma. Well, that's one thing technology has not done. So in your music, it is um, the idea of that edification, that um, entertainment and education. Because what we do in media studies is that there's nothing that is entertaining, that is not educative. We always wrap the education in the entertainment. And to a great extent, you've done that with your music and with the pleasing uh, voice and vocal cord in which you always play this out, makes one wants to listen, like German said, over and over and over again. There is, there is that um, up, uplifting of the spirit you know, to those of us who've had different versions of JJ, there's a JJ by the um, the famous um, Reading Nigeria 2 man, I'm sure one of uh, Life now, JJ. Okay. And then um, he, he, what's his name now? He's, he used to be a, a voiceover artist. You know, he, he did that in Lagos. And then a man in US here, uh, Judah Way Away also did a version of it. And here's another, but the three of them have different uh, take on, on life. And these are the kind of things that you hear. It takes you on multiple journeys. So this, this is um, okay. uh, what I saw. And then the musical video, you'll see that the musical video um, was also telling a parallel story, just like the song was was uh, saying his own. So wherever, whatever you you are, or whichever taste you have, that piece of music we just had to will we'll, uh, sort of cater. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kola I also welcome Lupin Sanusi, another great fan and friend of uh, Sonia. I uh, had to arrange him to be here because I know the man is, was busy at work. Uh, Lupin is there, Sonia. I can't see you smile. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sonia. Good okay, to see okay. You. so Lukman, I'll, I'll come to you. I'll come to you, Lukman. Uh, let me hear from Dr. Itayo Alo. Being a music journalist, in your, I mean, you interviewed virtually, you just mentioned Asha. You did uh, Oye Conway, no, uh, Christian Sen. You wrote on all those people. Now, this is Sonia. I don't know if this is the first time you're encountering our music and uh, our performance and, and cool. 
before I call Lukman. Lukman will be biased, so I'm trying to keep him away from from Sonia. <laughs> Y- yes, this is this is the first time I'm uh, encountering and as a culture them. Scholar so... too. Who lives in Canada? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this is the first time I'm encountering um, Sonia's song, and I think uh, you and uh, Doctor Dutola have uh, kind of encapsulated what I was uh, going to say, which is the fact that there is no missing the Africanness in the song, as it were. the The influence of uh, Fela's kind of Afro beat without the S <laughs> can not be mistaken. Plus the indigenous uh, language use. I, I don't know, is that Edo? I don't want to assume. Dr. Dutala said it was a, something about Edo, so. No, it's it's Pigeon English. Okay, well, I could pick Pigeon English, but uh, I got lost somewhere there. But again, that is it. So it enhanced, Pigeon English has a, musicality to it as well you know especially when you hear the Wafirians speak it it's almost like music so I got that as well and that was uh, well done in the video itself it was uh, it, it was a visual feast you drew on um, I would uh, call it a multimedia artistic experience because you drew on visual arts you drew on body arts you drew on food art you and you mix that with uh, you know your western oriented dressing but still with the braids and i think it's uh, it it just makes for a very good african diasporic music experience that uh, you've managed to put together with uh, some success so well done my dear sister and jaman i was at a recent forum of young uh, nigerian Journalist, all the things you are saying now, none of them even remembers the entire law again. So, <laughs> so you've just you've just given your age away. <laughs> but so again, that 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 that's good. That that I and mean, that's message. It's uh, I'm not pushing back on what Doctor Dutola said earlier because I've already put in the comments the fact that uh, I like how we put music on the shelf, music art that stay on the shelf an art that is just for now, okay? But even within the Western convention of music, the message matters, no matter how you want to look at it. The message drives it. So, German, don't beat yourself for loving philosophical music because if any music stands the test of time, again, it is because of the message that is there. Um, What Dolly Parton may not in any way make music for the next until she dies but dolly Parton will always rake in millions in royalties from people remixing a song what is it that they are going back to it's a message country music has got an element of storytelling in it i mean i teach a course called critical narrative inquiry which is where we look at storytelling within the academia and believe it or not i have two um two of my weeks are dedicated to the songs of dolly Parton. how those story drives the song and each time there is an experience and a story hits you you go back to that song naturally you don't have to so as long as there's a message in the music it will continue to stay on the shelf yours has that and i have no doubt yes it may not blow out of of proportion but you will maintain you talked about feeling uh holes you will always maintain those faithful fan base who knows what you stand for who knows what you represent and they will always show up for you on the artistic level. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Itai Alo. I, I know this is not a review of uh, Sonia's uh, musical career. I mean, we have plenty of time to do that when we're going to bring her back for a longer discussion. But let me bring our friend, uh, Lukman Sanusi. I mean, they've been, I mean, he's followed her career for a long time. And you will speak yeah. for briefly because we ought to have started Sonia's session on AWA, on uh, African women acting. Because Sonia goes beyond just being a singer, composer, arranger. She's also an act activist, and that's what we want to take on today, especially our current project that is coming up. So, look, man, I'll right. give you just two minutes because you have opportunity to, to speak to what Sonia has been doing. Uh, today, Oliver will, will join us later. I, <clears throat> thank you for um, giving me the floor, and I promise I'm going to be very, very short. You're right. Um, I'm going to be uh, biased, you know, 
when it comes to Sonia because she's a very good friend and I've been cataloging her career for a long time. And remember that uh, her songs, we played it on Bubbles FM for so, so, so many times. In fact, I met, I met her songs before I met her. And um, by the time we eventually met face to face, you know, she's really electrif electrifying. I remember that she took over the baton from uh, Maria Makeba. Definitely her song has the depth of Maria Makeba. It has the, um, the life in it. So I'm not surprised this new one is very philosophical. And I'm sure in the course of our discussion, we'll get to know more about who Sonia is. She's a very good human person, you know, very humane and very, she has a message and a purpose. So I'm going to stop there so that I don't carry on and on and on. I can okay. speak for like 15 minutes. <laughs> well, thank Sonia. you very much, uh, Lukman. Uh, today, Oduban, I'll bring you later to, to speak on uh, what you have heard. I want you to stay in there because you are, you are a younger uh, fellow. Like us, and anyway, meanwhile, congratulations to the he just graduated from the Tafta uh Terra, Terra Art Academy for the Arts with yesterday. Uh another cap to your to your head there. But uh you were not here when I was uh, talking about that project. I don't want us to lose track of uh, uh Sonia. Let me formally welcome you to Culture Train on Spirit of Nigeria Radio, where we bring the diaspora up to speak. It's not your first time here. The last time you were here, it was on my birthday, which you joined and you paid that compliment. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so on Culture Train, we try to bring to light the work of people like you who are outside there, who are not just another Nigerian out there who is just making dollars. Or, but you don't send the dollars, or, even though you are making it. <laughs> so people like you, people like Dr. Koladi Odutola, who is spreading poetry and African storytelling in Florida. We have to bring all this together at some point. And Dr. Itayo Alo is a cultural scholar who is actually using African literature to teach uh, many of our young people there. Shola Adeyemi is not here. He's also doing well in London. Unfortunately, he's a bit tired, even though he's, uh, I'm using his uh, platform to do this. Tune Oduban who is a younger fellow. He's a journalist. Uh, Sonia, when you come for collaboration, I think that's your plan. You'll be able to meet with Tunde. Tunde is someone to work with. He's very much like me, although I don't have his energy. He's, uh, He's, he's a crazy guy. He's a journalist. He's, a, he's an act, he's act, activist. He's everything rolled into one. Well, I, I requested him to be here. So, Sonia, welcome again to Culture Train on Spirit of Nigeria Radio. Now, February 18, you'll be doing the premiere of your film, Trace. Okay? Can you speak to what is happening on the 18th? After that, you, I, I will plead with you to speak about our African women acting, the vision behind it. I wanted Angela to have done that, but she, she couldn't join us yet. So can you speak about what is happening on the 18th, about the documentary, and then we can then go into our. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thank you for having me once again. Uh, sorry about that. Angela, she was preparing in a grand way, thinking it was to be at 6 p.m. Eastern. So, okay. uh, yeah, that's the reason she's not with us. Okay. And she really apologized for, okay. for missing this. Okay. So, Trace, Tracing Rare African Canadian Extraordinaire, um, it, uh, uh, it looks to celebrate and highlight the work of uh, uh, extraordinary Black uh, Canadians, Black, uh, you know, people that uh, live in Canada that are doing. Uh, amazing stuff that are doing work that is impacting the community, but in almost like a very silent manner, you know, those you would not necessarily hear about on uh, the mainstream media or, you know, those that doesn't, uh, you don't even hear much about them on, on the social media. They are not out there to glorify themselves over what they are doing or, uh, you know, uh, achieving. So these are, uh, the, the, the Black uh, African Canadians, we, we've gone across Canada to identify with a, 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 a team that has been able to work to identify them. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so amazing people that I was even surprised. I'm like, wow, this, um, and the reason for, for us to do this is really to have those role models that can, uh, continue to inspire the younger generation and uh, to inspire us as people 
to, to be there for one another as a way of uh, strengthening the Black community and as a way of uh, yeah supporting ourselves as well as inspiring others to follow our footsteps as well. You know, being there to help others is an enrichment for us as individuals, as, as people. It's not just about being out there on social media, uh, blasting what we might not necessarily be doing, but be out there to make impact uh, on others, no matter how little it is, but be there as a, a community leader or person to, to be able to contribute to the betterment of uh, individuals and the community that we live in. So these are the traces uh, that will be uh, celebrated uh, on uh, February 18th at the Daniel Spectrum uh, Artscape, uh, where our uh, is located in downtown Toronto. And uh, yeah, so of course the documentary is just one hour, so it won't be highlighting everything, but at least the essence of what they, uh, who they are, what they represent and their legacy will be highlighted in this uh, uh, 58 minutes uh, of um, uh, documentary. And uh, yeah, so this is what will be happening. And we are so proud to say we are sold out as of two days ago. Wow. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we are sold out. Our events are usually sold out. And okay. once again, because of the authenticity and uh, we are not there just to brag or to compete, but really to impact the community and get the, involve, the community involved along the process, which is what our is about. And this event is about as well. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, if I thought you were going to say, well, I'm going to send you tickets so you can come and be part of the event. But now you are telling me that it's sold out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not angry. I'm not uh, disappointed. <laughs> if you want to come, VIP tickets. We still have <laughs> okay. some VIP tickets. And VIP, yeah, tic what... VIP flight ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to ask, uh, just a plea, because I want to go into our now. Is it possible that the screen of the film because you did a program last year where you ensured that those of us here, I remember myself, Wally Uju, and someone else participated from Nigeria. Is it possible to put it online? Because I would like Dr. Adi Oditola, Lukman, and uh, Itayo, and today, all of us to, to witness. Because when we bring you back, we would like to be asking questions based on your Is it going to be online? Uh, it's question. not going to be sorry. It's not going to be live stream, but it's going to be recorded, and then we'll put it online afterwards. Ah, without okay. the movie, though, oh, yeah. Okay. So okay. it will be all our stuff is always available on our uh, uh, platform. digital platform. So it's going to be there uh, okay. for sure before our next uh, conversation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So thank you very much. Now you've mentioned our uh, so many times in the course of your discussion. Our, you have to define our for us, and then you have to uh, tell us the vision be behind our. Why do you think that? Uh, why did you think it was that important to start an organization like that? Which, under I think you are about two or three years, you already gained so much weight in 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 in, in Canada. There, I mean, you just opened your center and your studio uh, just late last year, uh, So, what is our? What informed it? What are the vision behind that? What are the projections? And then I will now open the room for uh, the scholars here to, to interrogate you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Interrogation already here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Okay. Awa. Okay. Awa, actually. You know, um, let's come back to being an artist with purpose, as, as we earlier mentioned. Uh, what I uh, usually do uh, during whether it's my concert or theater performances or workshops, what I do with every country I uh, go to perform, I usually have like uh, 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 a talk back uh, situation. I usually have like workshops with the community, the black community in every countries that I go. So it's part of my deal with whichever company is working with me or agent that is working with me because I really like to connect with people. 
my people and others as well that are looking to learn more about um, what inspire me, you know, what inform me as an artist. So the way I do that better is uh, like a contest different from my performance because when I'm performing, it's a spiritual moment, you know, you can really discuss a lot after that. But I have uh, like two, three hours dedicated before the show or after the show where I really uh, hang out to the community and we discuss. So that's what happened here in Canada when I first came to perform in 2011. Uh, my, yeah, we got a deal to come here. I came here on tour severally. And uh, one of uh, the session that I had uh, was to talk about my being an activist in Italy and uh, how I trained with the Council of Europe on projects management in developing, you know, projects for ethnic minorities in Europe and how I have been part in forming organization, you know, developing organization and what have you. And most of the women that were there were so inspired. They're like, we want to have some something like what you just mentioned in Italy that you have, you know. And uh, at the beginning, I, I was thinking these people are kidding, like a place like Canada, why wouldn't they have a platform where artists, women can come together to share? So that was when AWA was actually born in 2011. So from that conversation, these young women, they wanted to have something like what we were doing in Italy, the Afro Festival Association project. So that was what, uh, uh, that was how our came about, the African women acting. Of course, it was uh, as a collective, and in 2020, 23, uh, 13, sorry, it was incorporated. And um, so uh, it was like a training moment as well with my experience, you know, my European background and my mm, being uh, an expert in working with non for profits through my. Uh, skills with the Council of Europe. I I I was mentoring this group, you know, even from a lot long distance. Wherever I'm going, I'm touring. I'm always in touch with them. I volunteered to 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 pay the the bills for our. In fact, the the venue where the event is being held on the 18th, our has been there since its opening. Like the venue opened 2012. And AWA has been there since 2012, even before it was incorporated. And I was responsible for the bills until AWA had, you know, was ready to, um, to reach out to the funding agencies for support. So AWA uh, seeks to work with women in the arts, Black women in the arts, by sharing experiences and supporting those that are less privileged to learn about the African cultural heritage through artistic performances, spoken words, storytelling, music, visual arts, and movie screening. So uh, this is not what I do, it's what they come together to do. And I just bring in the experts in the industry, someone like Hugh Jarman or Alex Boisel, my uh, manager, and many other as uh, arts workers in the sector globally to uh, to coach, to mentor uh, these artists uh, through the masterclass sessions that we uh, offer. And uh, from the uh, Toronto location where we have the headquarter, uh, we had, we've been asked, uh, uh, having requests from the Niagara region for AWA to, to be established in the Niagara region until we decided with the board members to ask these young women to actually give us um, the reason why we should be there, you know? And they, they, they engaged in research about the black history in the Niagara region, uh, starting with the slave, uh, the slavery, the, the, rail, the underground railway where the black, uh, uh, Americans came through Canada, you know, a lot of uh, in, in interesting stories about the Black history that has been untapped, you know, and uh, we learned about the, the Black demography, the new immigrants, the students that are coming to the Niagara region. Uh, and of course, we were compelled to uh, actually set up the a cultural center, one of the first 
Black Cultural Center in uh, in Niagara Falls, where we it's is 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 a space that seat up to one hundred and fifty people, and uh, so different activities is uh, will be running in this center as well. And uh, yeah, so this is um, I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. If I answered your question. Tu es là, Monsieur Jaman. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm trying to get somebody enter with iPhone, and I want him to rename himself so that he doesn't. I hope it's not a hacker. So that's what uh -huh. I want to distract me. Yeah, I don't want them to start showing new detail on our program. Yeah. So thank you very much. You really you you've given answer to to that. So let me now leave you in the hands of the intellectual sharks. <laughs> well, let me start on the softer note. Look, pan and say please. You know Sonia very well, and you must be familiar with this work. So, with our work, I'd like you to first uh, to come in first and uh, speak to Sonia on, uh, I mean, your interrogation or your question or your comment on 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 the work of our and Trace, the documentary that is coming. Lukman, please. <clears throat> um, to be honest, I've I've just been um mesmerized by uh, Sonia's beautiful voice and all that and her energy that um, I just want to enjoy um, other people ask our questions and um, but on our I think um, I had interviewed her on that a long time ago on Bubbles FM um, the, the kind of work they do in Canada especially concerning their arts and it will be wonderful to see um, this year how they can top what we've been doing over the years, although I lost track um, for a while on the events. Um, so at this moment, I don't have really any question. I just want to enjoy the conversation. Uh, so I, I'm sure Dr. Kole Ado Dutala, you know, who's a fire engine, will have something that will probably prompt me to want to ask Sonia more questions. Okay. So I'm just going to look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Dutala, please go ahead. Yes, um, Dr. Lukman, you are free to Kogbo Similakbo. <laughs> but um, back to the issue, because um, let, let's let's put it on the table um, so that we get educated. We're talking about African women acting. The very first thing that comes to mind is I would like Sonia to um, give us an idea of a range of African women that are involved in this coalition and then the second one is that <clears throat> women's studies have told us many times that though the word woman covers a biology but that these women are from different social economic backgrounds i would like to know the range where are they uh, i know that She's hinted that some of them, some as in 20%, some as in 80% are immigrant women um, or those who were born in, in, in that place. Could, could she disaggregate this idea of Africa being a continent? Which parts of the African continent are these women from? And then who are the women? Um, what are they bringing to the table? I know that Many of them probably might be um, actors who um, appear on stage, on the streets, or maybe on the screen as well. But unless we understand the variety that forms this group, it would not be possible to advance questioning. Okay. So if um, Sister Sonia oh, is oh, ready. Oh, okay, Sonia. Uh, we, we want to, hello, Sonia. Will you want to uh, answer that now or take uh, Dr. Itayo's question? Take the two of them because my I suspect I might yeah, be in that me, thing. Yeah, let me take the two of them. Okay, yeah. and then today will come later. Okay, Dr. Alo, please. Okay, so yeah. let me, me, I will start with, me, I will, me, I will start with the plug. So, Sonia, please, when you have the time, I teach two interesting courses at Trent that can benefit from your experience. 
Okay, I teach Black experience in Canada and it's still ongoing in this winter term and I teach public leadership in action. And I think um, your leadership experience as a Black leader can contribute to those two courses. So please, if you are free between now and April, let me know and then I'll get you to connect. It can be virtual. I'll get you to connect with my class. I know you're just uh, one hour. Actually, both classes take place in our Oshawa campus, so it's probably minutes away from where you are, but online will be. So I would I will start with, with, with that. And um, so my own questioning is uh, going to be much more Canada specific. I know you have uh, reached out to folk, Black folks in, um, you said the Niagara region, right? Mm -hmm. And yes. that's that that's that's really really important when we look at the war of eighteen twelve and the role Niagara played, especially where black loyalists um, are concerned. And um, more importantly, it uh, it served as a, a route, like you mentioned. But so did Windsor. You know, there's a big uh, mural in Windsor facing the. It's facing the U.S. Uh, side the of the U.S. border. border. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know there's a there's a mural of it. I think it's um Top Topman. What's her name? Now? Harriet Topman. Harriet Topman's uh yeah. so that one is there. And only they this charged week the house in the St. Catherine here in the Niagara region. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Thank you very much. And we're also talking about Josiah Ensign's role because we talk about Harriet Topman's role from the US side. There was Josiah Ensign on um the Canadian side. But Again, let's that's just so let's get more Canadian now. You live in Ontario, St. Catherine is in Ontario. Most of your activities that are here seems to be in Ontario. So my simple question is how are you planning on expanding this to other parts of Canada? And when I talk about other parts of Canada, specifically Halifax, because there is no Canadian black history without Halifax. The people who migrated to form Freetown in Sierra Leone were led by Dr. Peters from Halifax. The crisis that made them move started from Shelburne to Halifax, Nova Scotia, before they moved there. And I've, I'm still looking, I'm still a student of uh, Black history in Canada, even though my students want, me, want to think me uh, an expert. I am not. But I still think that there is no way we talk about Black experience, Black history in Canada without Halifax. And then there is also, CBC did uh, this recent one about the migration of Blacks from the US into the Rockies, but those weren't um, of African heritage. How are you planning of moving this outside Ontario into other parts of Canada, most especially Halifax that holds a high historical value to Blacks resident in Canada. Okay. You can, you can go ahead. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. So um, let's start with Dr. Cole. Uh, the kind of women uh, at our, okay. Our, uh, we have women from uh, different uh, countries in Africa, from Nigeria to Cameroon, to Sudan, uh, to Kenya, uh, and as well as from, from the, the, the islands, from Jamaica to Haiti. Uh, uh, so different, like it's formed of different black women, not just, uh, Af this is not a concept of Africa as a, a country. So it's really Africa. And Africa as a continent and black women as well. Okay. Uh, and the kind of black women we have are scholars that are experts in the black history. Someone like Rosemary Sadley, which is one of the traits. Okay. Uh, she's one of the women that uh, engaged uh, with the Honorable Jean Augustine in making sure that black history is being celebrated today in uh, Ontario, in Canada. And, uh, and uh, Rosemary Sadler is also the one that uh, made sure that Emancipation Day uh, became, uh, be became a celebration, okay, since uh, 2021. So these are the kind of people and visionaries, like even uh, uh, experts in the financial uh, 
uh, life that comes to give uh, financial literacy. And we have actors, we have uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, art workers that have the experience of or as producers or as uh, managers that, you know, come to uh, share with, with the artists that sign up for our programming. And uh, of course, the artists themselves that comes together to, to share about how, uh, about artistic entrepreneurship. And as well as women, like uh, individual uh, immigrants who are also refugee that have stories to tell, so that are looking for, for, for platform where they can you know, engage, learn from others, share with others, a place they, they feel comfortable, a, a safe place where they, they, they have that sense of community and belonging and where they can also uh, be able to explore their experience from back home as well as co connect to Canada and to learn about Canada as new immigrants. So this is the, these are the kind of women that we have, and we have wellness, like the dance as a way of keeping fit, and uh, the 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 culinary arts. Okay, how to eat healthy food in this place where you have a lot of uh, contaminated stuff, you know, like so. And how do you present your beauty as a woman? Is it always about the boobs or heavy makeup? You know, things like that. So these are all. It's all that essence of being women uh, coming together in, in a platform, as well as talking about the way forward. How do we grow as women? How do we advance? And how do we uh, impact the younger generation? And what are the legacy? What is our legacy? Starting from the young one. So if I answered your question, so that's one of it. And um, yeah, uh, we are in, in Ontario. And how do we uh, uh, look to expand across Canada? Okay, uh, just as the, the group uh, that's contacted us from uh, the Niagara region, in fact, we already have a space, a cultural space in Niagara Falls on 4337 Queen Street, right opposite the city hall. That's where we are located. Though we are looking to have our own space, okay? That's the bigger vision. And we've had proposed requests as well from uh, places like Montreal, Ottawa, and uh, Newfoundland to go set up our. And I believe all this will happen on its own. But Trace, for instance, Trace is really making that happen. You spoke about Halifax. We were recently in Hal Halifax because, in fact, one of our Trace honoree, Dr. Rustom Southwell, is is um, from St. Keys, who's been in Halifax since um, 50 years, you know? <laughs> when that man talk, I'm like, oh my God, it's like my great-grandfather speaking, but yet he looks so young, you know, and very healthy and smart and everything, you know? And uh, so he is one of those that have worked, you know, uh, extensively and significantly to uh, support the Black um, history as well in Halifax. And in fact, if you see the trace, trace is talking about part of the history, the Black history, how it came about and what these people have done. So it's, it's right there as well. So I really believe that trace as well, not just our festival, because we do have people even come at, from across Canada to our initiatives, okay? Uh, but Trace is create that contest for conversation and it can be taken any, anywhere across Canada. And Trace is not just about the honorees, but it's also about the visual artists that are engaged to uh, produce artwork featuring the Trace Honoree. Trace is also those poets that have been engaged to write poets inspired by Trace, you know, honorees and uh, the music as well. So Trace is just is 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 an offering of black leadership and heroes, but as well as featuring uh, black artists and inspiring the younger generation. So for instance, we go to Halifax to uh, screen trace. We are going to be uh, having uh, uh, poets from Halifax that 
will have sessions to create work inspired by trace. So uh, this is how the first step we would want to expand, you know, and if anyone just as Montreal in Ottawa, they want to set, set up uh, an hour location, which they are looking to do, they are free to do so. And we will on our end, give support, you know, um, for uh, uh, to, to be able to do that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Sonia. You, I mean, you are an interviewer's delight because you you give answer to a broad range of uh, questioning. Uh, I hope uh, Dr. Adil Dutola and uh, Itayo are satisfied with that. Let me bring in Tunde. Tunde Oduba, as I've told you, is a is a is a journalist. Is a is a is a cultural producer himself. Is someone I I really love to to listen to because he's doing quite a lot, even though younger than all of us. But okay, you want to say something? Yeah, sorry to the professor. Yes, I will. Let's talk. I will be uh, honored to to be part of your um, series that you're doing in, in the school, Dr. Eitayo. E e e e e e e mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, okay. just, yeah. I as, that. A, as a middle man, I hope I get my uh, my contract fee, <laughs> my agent fee for linking the two of you. Because you, the two of you are in, uh, remember the way you met uh, Tony Otiono too, Unduka Otiono. Yeah, that was just something something similar to this, and uh, I'm sure the two of you work together. So today, Absolutely. yeah. So today, Odubango, you are a journalist, and you've listened to all of this. What do you think uh, about this? Uh, just quickly, because we're running to the end, and I still want to play Sonia's video. The video you are not showing your handsome face, much, on there, but you can go ahead. No problem. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate um, um, this very privilege to be on the platform with uh, these great minds, legends, you know. Um, so I've listened to um, the statement being made by Ma Madam Sonia. And, um, I must oh, say oh, hold on, to the, can you hear him, uh, Sonia? There seems to be some, you can hear him. Okay, go ahead, today. So I must say that I'm particularly uh, proud of what you're doing in Canada, um, taking the cultural image of Nigeria uh, far beyond the shores of the country and representing us in um, great light, uh, doing great things. Um, of course, you are one of the many Nigerians who actually are proving to the world that indeed Nigerians are not dubious people as has um, been claimed. However, um, I would like to uh, clear out something. Um, you didn't actually mention about engaging the younger, the younger generation uh, through mentorship and participation in your in your project. Um, now, the reason why I did mention this is because I have discovered in you know, over time that there's a void between the younger the, the younger generation, which is our own generation, and the older generation you know, professionally and socially. And one of the things I've discovered is that younger generations have this cultural shock, you know, and of course, some of them are just in that, in that state of naughtiness. They don't know how to go about it. And um, the internet is there to further confuse you know, them and, 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 and what have you. So, when the other generation are speaking about real stuff, real life issues, you know, pro cogent and profound professional issues, you don't, most of us don't understand, except probably a handful of some of us who have been, who have been lucky enough to be mentored by the older, the older lead. But a very good number of us do not understand the what you people are doing, where you are coming from, and what you want. So, would you like to to clarify you know, in that regard that okay. how are you what are you doing to to bring in the younger generation you know in participating in this group okay yeah yeah let me put a little spin on the, what today is saying hmm. now you know we're in the era of japa a lot of nigerians are migrating many of them have no idea they just know that the canada canadian border is open so they can just leave from here. They think it's El Dorado there. They don't know what they are going to, ex uh, to encounter. So they get there and they encounter what today is talking about, culture shock. They get into Canada and they discover that it's not an easy world. It's not the way it's been paved in gold. So how can our, 
or your activity, your, your program, your center? How can you cater for the interests of these young ones? Because we don't want them to become disillusioned. They get there and it's no longer gold. Now they are lost. They can't come back. They don't even have ticket money to come back and then they are lost. So how can your organization uh, get to uh, in, uh, make intervention in this? Thank you, Sonia. You're welcome. Okay, all right, thank you for your question. As I did mention, we do work with the younger generation. And in fact, in the, uh, the, the staff, our admin head is 24 years old. Our program coordinator, or program assistant is 22 years old. And they are some of those that reach out to our, to have it set uh, a branch location in the Niagara region. We engage them to begin as a volunteer from them. From there, we're able to give them um, a, a, a part-time and now full-time job, okay? So that's part of it. And what do we do as well, those um, uh, sessions, I spoke about financial li literacy information on, uh, on job of employment, how to readapt or study some uh, uh, some areas that would help them in uh, securing a better life in Canada. That is part of it as well. And as well as we offer summer job programs for the younger generation from age 15, yeah, from age 15 and up. And we do every year, we have a uh, youth that we hire uh, with the support of the governments of Canada where they come to the center and learn the skills <laughs> in these various areas, they are engaged in the first person and associated with an expert at AWA to um, articulate the programming in the different area, whether it's um, a programming workshop, learning uh, as a program, they are learning as well, uh, whether it's production, as they as they're doing it, they are learning as well. Whether it's videography, photography, uh, community outreach, sponsorship, and uh, uh, logistic management, and uh, yeah, and even speaking, like a uh, 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 spoken word. Some of them they don't even speak English very well. So what do we do? Spoken word for them as well. So this what we are saying. It's what is happening, is what we are doing because the needs, they come to our and we make it possible for them to be able to achieve that vision. So, I yeah, hope I... you, you, yeah you, you answered it very well. Thank you very much, Sonia. Um, I'm going to ask our uh, panelists to, to speak again to, to you. But let me quickly introduce Omokabi. At the beginning of this show, I mentioned a concert that I attended yesterday. Sonia, if you see this concert, I, oh, okay, you know, you are even planning a musical. You are marking the Adenero. You know, he was planning, yeah. For one, one of the plays he directed, the song, uh, the song in the, in the, in the play, uh, Awo, Awo Lawo, was composed by Omar Kabies. His real name is Kende uh, Orechime. Kende is an engineer who, who also made first class in music. And I'm talking of classical music training. So he did a major concert yesterday. I was paying tribute to him at the beginning. And I thought he would be able to join us there. I would just ask him to say hello. He has listened to you too. If you ever want to do those your show that you wanted to do with all that we all of us are around because we're we're used to is the, the kind of person that you need. Uh he gave us a brilliant show yesterday. It was incredible. Hello. Well, if it's not there, I'll just play one of your videos so that he can listen to it. Okay, I think I'll ask Omokabiesi to hold on. Let me play this video of Sonia, so that as we're talking about you, we're also listening to you. Let me play this now, and then we'll get to it. It may not be your favorite, but I'm just selecting my favorite from the... <laughs> okay, so let me share. All your pizza and Nigeria. 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 All your piz
Thank you very much, Sonia. Well, I, uh, as I told you, it's one of my favorites, and uh, so I have no shame to admit it. That <laughs> let me let me get uh, somebody who is into music. Uh, that's Omokabiyesi, who I've been talking about. Oh, I don't know whether. Okay, he must have heard you. Uh, uh, hello, Omokabiyesi. I, I just wanted. Hello, to... here, ah, okay. You've had this because this is the kind of thing you gave us yesterday. I wanted to check yeah. whether you can make a comment on this. But I would really like you and uh, Sonia to meet because Sonia okay. came home one time and uh, she connected with uh, Makindi Ma Adenono, whom you paid tribute to on our law yesterday. And I just saw yes, Spirit meeting. Yeah. And this is the kind of music I, I wish I could play some of your work here at this time. But when, when I have my interview, with you, you do that. So, uh, can you speak to what you just heard as a, as a yeah. musician, as a composer arranger? Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love it. It's so rhythmical. It represents us what we do. I love okay. the music that we do. It's very rhythmical. I like the melody. simple. It's responsoria. You know, most of our things we do here is responsoria. Someone call and you respond. Okay. Say over and over and over again, you know. 
Oh, ni of if Nigeria. Yes. Oh, ni of if Nigeria. You know, just to affirm, to say it again, just to, to affirm whatever the message. I love it. I love everything about it. Okay. Simple. I'll read my card. The melody is just short. It's simple. I okay. love it. It's something that anybody can say, irrespective of your language. It's easy mm. to pronounce. I like mm. it. Not too wordy. Not plenty things. So, have a love, 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 no, no. Love it. Okay. Kudos. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Thank you very much, Amokabi. It will be my, my job to link the two of you. But listening to you, and I know Sonia's work very well, and this is the kind of thing that she too like to do. You know, the way you blend uh, uh, you blended uh, traditional music with uh, English classical music and all of that. And uh, yeah, you can see Kende is trying to wear, he's, he's, he's like that. He's a very eclectic human being. <laughs> Even yesterday, oh, he was on yeah. stage. He was directing the show from his seat. He was jumping on stage and <laughs> he's a disruptionist. When you talk of an artist who is a disruptionist. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Kendi. So uh, let me leave the second round of questioning to uh, to the scholars here. Kendi is a music scholar. He, he makes he made first class at the Musical Society of Nigeria. The first student actually to make a first class. And he's teaching there. All the students are there. And he did a great job yesterday of over three hours of intense musical performances by young people. Young. And when I say young, young people. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Kendi. I know you ought to be sleeping by now with all that work. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so you and Sonia have to connect. I think you have a common friend in uh, in uh, marking the okay. mindset. So we we'll find a way to to make sure that you. Okay. But I'm going to have my special interview with you, just as I'm bringing Sonia at another time, and you'll be part of that. Okay. You can listen to more of her. I'll okay. send you some of our songs too. That's the kind of job okay. I like to do to connect people. Okay. So, uh, yes, the the cultural scholars in the house. Dr. Kola Adi Odutola, Ehi Tayo, and then Lukman Sanusi. If you have further questions for Sonia, otherwise we're, clo we're cruising home to close in another 15 minutes. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, Dr. Kola Adi Odutola. Okay, let me let me just go first. I've got no oh, question oh, okay. except to say oh, thank you okay. very much Itayo for first. coming, okay. Dr. <laughs> thank you very much for coming, Sonia. It's a laudable project, and I can just wish you all the best with it i'm glad that you're sold out i hope the event is a success and i just hope it becomes a stepping stone to greater things for you and the organization congratulations okay well uh thank you so much okay thank you um cultural train on spirit of nigeria radio we're still on so my very producer just reminded me i've not introduced you again we are talking to sonia i the founder of uh, african uh, women acting, mm -hmm. who is uh, on uh, next Saturday, 18th, she is going to premiere the film Trace. And we're happy to have you mm -hmm. here. It's been one hour of really engaging you. And so we're going to the second round of questioning now. And that's Dr. Itayo Alo from Canada I just spoken to you about his uh, impression about your work. And uh, and I'm happy that the two of you have actually met of uh, officially now, so you can continue the, the teaching uh, the arrangement that he was talking about. So, uh, Dr. Kole Adio Ditola, go. Well, this question is more from an organizational perspective. And it's sometimes very unfair to ask people who are struggling with an organization's being, just being there and performing all its, um, its duties. Um, if you wouldn't mind, what would your five-year plan look like? What would you want our to be in the next five years? Um, I think you're taking roots in Canada and you've given us some hints about um, what you want to do in other parts of Canada. But looking, looking back and looking forward, in the next five years, where would you like the organization to be? One, two. What resources do you think you would need to get it to where the organization is? And those two questions speak to, I think you've answered it a lot, where the organization is now, you know, since you started. But the very first thing I would want to ask uh, and to find out from you is, where do you see the organization in the next five years? Thank you, Dr. Kole. 
Okay. So where we see the organization in the next five years, uh, in the next five years, we really hope to have our own uh, black cultural space in the Niagara Falls region, in the Niagara region. It's a big one. And in the next five years, we look uh, to have that. And we're looking to having more full-time staff. Uh, we're looking to, uh, for uh, the, the, the uh, uh, trace, of course, to 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 be able to be screened uh, uh, nationally and internationally, and be, to be able to engage schools as well in in the programming, like bringing our activities to school, and uh, and also we're looking to be able to tour uh, artists uh, developed through our uh, internationally. So uh, that, that's it, and we're also looking to be able to produce uh, the musical, which German was talking about, Umu Africa. That is another way of really developing artists in Canada. And we are looking uh, to doing that as well. And uh, yeah, the main thing is to have our uh, uh, cultural, physical cultural space and uh, be able to generate revenue. Okay. Yeah, it's good to have support by the government, but uh, the 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 vision for our for me uh, for me is to be able to generate revenue as well through the organization, having a mind a business mindset rather than uh, just a non for profit mindset because uh, we really want it to to sustain and uh, uh, and to make a a last uh, a long. Uh, lasting impact as well in the community. It's not just a one-time thing, it's a legacy. So, uh, and of course we wanna to continue to build relationship uh, and partnership with the uh, partners, uh, sponsors and collaborators, both locally and internationally. And uh, yeah, so okay. if I answer your question. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Itayo, okay, you've spoken actually. Uh, today, Odubanwo and Omokabiyesi, who have spoken. Omokabiyesi is going to join us uh, pretty soon, too. Hello, today. Are you there? Omokabiyesi. Yes, I'm here, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you have any comment now? No, not comment, sir. Oh, okay. okay. We have less than nine minutes to go. Uh, today, Odiba, thank you very much, Omokabi. I'm going to. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, yeah, today, go ahead. Yes, sir. Am, am I to make comments about uh, Taft? Sir? Yeah, because she answered your question about uh, young people and she told us about yes, the plan sir. that they have for young people. Uh, yes, sir. So, do you have a follow up question or a comment or so? We're wrapping up. No, no, sir. I'm, I mean, I'm absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I got uh, the whole uh, the essence of because I mean, this has always been concern for for people of my generation, and um, I'm happy that uh, to hear that younger younger people are the ones driving the movement of our, and uh, I can only pray that uh, the project you know attains greater heights. So, so far, I'm, I'm really, really uh, impressed. Actually. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tunde. Um, the look, Lukman is no longer here. I, I wanted him to have the last comment, but I think he told me he was actually at work. So, so um, uh, Sonia, let me just put the, the, the last question now. When you say African women, I know it must have, you must have answered it in your, in your question. Now you have African women of different cultural experiences. Uh, and that's the bigger problem of Africa. We have English, we have French. Even in Canada there, you have the Portuguese, you have women from Ethiopia, from other places, the Portuguese women. You have women, uh, okay, women from Jamaica and co, who think that they're Africans. Are they also involved in what you're doing? And how do, how do, oh, you, yes, how do you make all these cultural differences too? Yeah, go ahead. Oh yes, they they are also involved. In fact, our vice press, uh, no, our treasurer, she is Congolese. Okay, our current president is from Jamaica, <laughs> and our vice president is a Nigerian, and our international outreach is half Angolan and um, 
uh, Cape Verdean, and she is from Portugal. And right now, she just came yes yesterday. Nela, I don't know if you want to come say a quick hello. Manuela okay. Tavares, and we like study to Nella. <laughs> with, with, with the Council of Europe. Nelita, okay, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because she she just she, she came last night time. from <laughs> No, no, no. Nella, she is um, was born in Angola by uh, a Cape Verdean and Angolan uh, uh, parents. Okay, and she uh, she moved to um, Portugal when she was two. So, and she's our international outreach coordinator. So this is to give you an example. And of course, our uh, one of our program coordinator. Uh, Angela Siracusa, Italian, from an Italian background, right? So, uh, so we all come together and we don't have, it's straightforward because we have similar vision. We have uh, the same, uh, it's the same issues that affect women. Whether you are from Nigeria, whether you are from the Caribbean, or whether even the, it's the same issue affects us as women. We, so, uh, of course, in a different uh, way, but we have the same struggle as women, uh, and, and we come together without uh, uh, distinction and work happily together. Of course, sometimes we have our issues as well, and that's what we, uh, the leadership come up, you know, to make sure everybody we are always, even no matter what, we are always in that beautiful mindset uh, with the goal, the vision of building a legacy. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Sonia. We still have a bit of time and uh, we thank you for, for this. So maybe you can remind us of what, what is uh, happening next weekend. Because we have just about five minutes to go. So just remind us of what is going on uh, for the next uh, uh, next next weekend. Uh, oh, weekend. yes. Okay, so next weekend we'll be uh, celebrating and premiering. Uh, it's a private premiere, we have to say. Uh, the Trace, Tracing Red African Canadian Extraordinaire, where we we'll have all the Trace honoree being uh, honorees being uh, uh, celebrated, and uh, we'll also present the movie uh, about them as well as uh, present new artists. Uh, Trace being represented through the dance. We have dancers uh, that uh, uh, are currently working to do their dance piece uh, as part of the celebration. The poets, I don't know if you've seen on our social media that through this uh, new uh, poets were auditioned, you know, to have this role to create new, new work uh, in celebration of Trace. And uh, that is in, in, in the making as well. And of course, a visual artist that have produced uh, work inspired by Trace. And part of the visual work is already is being installed at the venue, at the location as we speak. And um, we'll have uh, um, different uh, guests, special guests from political and uh, community and uh, corporate world. Um, and so far, uh, Trace is all over the place across Canada on, uh, uh, we have different reviews. We've been, uh, we've, uh, our interview is being aired on different uh, TV stations, radios and reviews and magazines. So, <laughs> and uh, we are all across the, the subway in Toronto, both the green and the yellow line. And uh, so everybody is really excited. And what is more, more um, exciting for us is really to see the our team, you know, these young people that came into the organization uh, as new immigrants and didn't know had no clue about the arts. And today they are now so informed, so prepared. And I hear them speaking on the phone and managing stuff, whether it's uh, logistics or, I, 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 am, I am so, so impressed, you know, I'm like, wow, this, these are the actual trace, you know, this is the trace we're talking about because from just, couple of 
years ago to see where we are today, this team is the trace. You get what I mean? But this process of featuring others allows us to grow as women <laughs> in yeah. this organization. And the partnership we've been able to build in the process, you know, whether it's governmental level, whether it's uh, 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 you know, uh, PRO, uh, logistics. We are just growing as an organization. We've been able to, uh, you know, have more resources as we speak through this project, simply because we really want to know. We want to know about the leaders and how they can inspire us, how they can inspire our younger generation, not knowing that we are actually helping ourselves. So this is the beauty of you know coming with a unique concept. Uh, sometimes we think we're helping others, but at the end, the puzzle comes together and you see you're actually helping yourself, even without knowing yet what the future, what trace will unfold. We don't even know, but with all the, essence of that humility and the beauty and you know that gift that god has given to us to be able to do something like true you know true not without without uh compromise this is just unfolding and that is more uh, uh more gr uh, gratifying to us as a team really? to me as yeah. a, a visionary as the leader you know uh it's really gratifying that you, whatever happens tomorrow, you say, oh, thank God, at mm -hmm. least I, I accomplished this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. I thought you'd leave us in the hand of Sonia with uh, one, one, more, one more track from her, because I enjoy her music a lot. But Dr. Kole Aduditola has uh, a comment to make, and then after that, I'll sign us out with uh, Sonia. Uh, let me just say, because I'll just play the video immediately after Dr. Kole Adiritola. It's been Culture Train on Spirit of Nigeria Radio. We've had Sonia Aimi. Sonia Aimi Wu from Edo State, who had been living in Italy, then moved to Canada, and their career. Uh, I always like to tell people that uh, the first most impressive thing about Sonia for me was that she was, when we got to Italy in those days, we were told that there's one Nigerian actress who has been on stage for almost 10 years, playing Cinderella, in that famous story of Cinderella. 10 years. How can you be playing a role for 10 years? So, and she was like a little girl, too, with her, this her ten ten voice. And so from there, then she started working with, uh, you know, Nigerians are known for some bad stories in Italy, uh, women who have been trafficked. She started going to bring them, to, 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 to restitute them into the society, she did quite a lot with her radio program, which I participated in. And she wrote a book. And she's continued. Now she's in Canada. I don't know what's happening to those Italians. But when we get to meet you another time, you'll be able to tell us a lot more about that story. So call it audio tutorial, and then I'll play. On a very on a very light note, because I teach um, Yoruba here at the university. And uh, hearing that uh, word, our, though you have uh, come up with African women, but our is an emphatic pronoun that means our, O-U-R. Was that in any way, um, form of shape, part of how you came about our, O-U-R, and our African women acting? And th that's just on a light note. Yeah. And then since um, you started to speak, that half empty bottle of wine behind you, please keep it for me. And if you know anybody coming to Florida, give give them that half bottle of wine. I I think it will do something to my head. Well, that's it for me. Okay. Thank you very much, Colleague. So Sonia, you can you can speak to <laughs> I thought I was the only one who noted that bottle of wine. <laughs> Okay, so our actually, uh, no, it's really uh, we just uh, the African women acting, acting for women's issues, acting for women cause, you know, acting to help ourselves and all, as well as acting on stage. So that's that's how it came about. And today we are hearing that 
Awa means so many things. Awa is a woman in some culture. Awa means our own. And what, <laughs> no, it's really beautiful. So yeah, we'll claim all of this. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's what it is. The, the bottle, oh my God, it's still there. Now you gotta come, come to, to Canada. Maybe for the Awa Festival, the Awa Niagara Falls Festival happening September 2nd and 3rd. I believe Nella, September 2nd and 3rd. So come, come to Niagara Falls. We will be right <laughs> here in the heart of the falls. Like our backdrop, you know, for the stage is the fall itself. So that's where we look, where we have our festival. So Dr. Kole, everybody come. Okay, thank you oh, very much. I, I'm sure Itaya will get there before all of us. He has just one hour to get to you. <laughs> so thank you very much, Sonia, on Culture Train of Spirit of Nigeria Radio. We'll be back another time to have you fully for two hours. You alone, with all these panelists, will be ready to in interview. Maybe by then we'll have been able to stay the firm. So I want to leave us in the hand of uh, Sonia. For our listener in the cloud, it's been Culture Train on Spirit of Nigeria Radio. I'm talking to a great Nigerian in Canada. We like to talk to Nigerians in diaspora who are doing great stuff. Nigeria is great, Africa is great, and our children are doing a lot well outside of this place. Thank you very much, and see you next week. Uh, let me just give a hint. Uh, next week should be 18 or so, and one of us, Dele Shosimi, if you know Dele Shosimi, you know that there was no fella without Dele Shosimi. You'll be 60 on the 22nd or so. And we're dedicating next week edition to Dele Shosimi. He has an incredible album that I just produced. And if you just by considering that we're having two musicians back to back, but we'll be bringing him uh, next week. Thank you very much, Sonia. I wish you success on the on the premiere of the show. And uh, I know your guests have arrived. Please say us well to them and uh, give our regard to also Angela, who prepared for this show, but was never able to make it. Thank you and good night from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much. Oh, just me. If you have someone, healing's be with you. If you get someone in need, blessings go with you. No matter how it
Thank you, Sonia. So we have. Thank uh, you so much for having me. Radio. Yeah. Thank you. So I'll talk to you later now. Okay. Okay. We'll be on all generator, right. so we have to put on the jerry. Put on the generator now and then. Okay. No fuel. Yes, no fuel. No light. No. No whatever. No. Please send some light here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I oh will. yeah, no PVC, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! Thanks, so. my God. So we have okay. to go. Okay. Okay, Oga. Take care. Thank you. Dario, come, come and join you. Everybody, I'm read Dario. Read the guy who has been doing the magic. <laughs> All right. So yeah, talk yeah. to you soon. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah Dario, the studio engineer. Yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Great job. Uh, kudos mm -hmm. to you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. Okay, okay. Sonia. So I'll reach you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. I'll okay. send you some okay. of okay. his. Uh, I wish I, I think I have some of his recording. I'll send you to Sonia. Okay. Please yeah, share okay. with me. Okay. But the kind of thing you wanted to yeah. do that we couldn't get ahead. This is the guy to talk to. Okay. Please send it to me. Is it you are an actor as well or just music? Uh, no, I was I was acting before, but I stopped okay. acting and now you composed and a music director. Oh, great. Acting oh, was composed in school because we are doing opera. Yeah, acting okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, absolutely. Let's stay connect, okay? All this All contract right, that you are signing, Sonia, I'm going to collect my video. I have been telling you to be collecting. You don't want to collect. Oh, no, so I'm, now ready to you, col I'm ready to collect now. You are getting older, so now. Bring it up, bring collecting. it up. I'm ready to collect now. Okay, now, okay. We will sign deal. Uh, okay. Bye -bye okay. Today. Nice okay. meeting you here, too. Yeah. And uh, Thank you. Nice to everyone. Nice meeting you, ma. Nice meeting you, ma. Okay, have a nice weekend. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. 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 Thanks, Oga. Bye. 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 Bye.